great producer once told me don't bury the lead. So I have been not denied my request for accommodation by ESPN and the Walt Disney Company and effective next week, I will be separated from the company. This is ESPN reporter Allison Williams. Belief is a word I've been thinking about a lot lately because in addition to the medical apprehensions regarding um, my desire to have another child in regards to receiving this injection. Just so we're clear, she's intentionally calling the COVID vaccine an injection. I am also so morally and ethically not aligned with this. And I've had to really dig deep and analyze my values and my morals. And um, ultimately, I need to put them first. Williams says she morally and ethically cannot take the life-saving vaccine that is our best chance of getting out of the pandemic. And the irony in all this is that a lot of those same values and principles I hold so dear are what made me a really good employee. In April, they sent out an email to all cast members, as they call employees, saying that they believed the vaccine was the best way forward, but ultimately that the decision to get it was a personal decision. Their values have clearly changed. Correct. It became clear stopping the spread of the coronavirus was of the utmost importance, but go on. That their values have changed. I had hoped they would respect that mine did not. I cannot put a paycheck over principle. A lot of people have brought up the moral obligation receiving the vaccine um, is to being a good citizen. And I weighed that and I thought about the implications. We all want to be good neighbors. We all want to end this pandemic, but ultimately an injection that does not stop transmission and spread for me did not weigh in morally. Clown level narration here, essentially. But, but listen, if you didn't get a vaccination, that's your choice. If you go ahead and put yourself in danger, if you feel as though this is not something right. for you, don't do it, but don't affect my life. 90, 99% of the people who are dying from COVID are unvaccinated. That's so their choice. Th they don't want to die. She is Brian Kilmeade in this clip, arguing for more death. On Williams' wrong analysis of transmission, a study in the Netherlands found vaccines have 71% effectiveness against transmission. Why not take the improved odds, Allison. Vaccinated people are not as likely to spread the coronavirus as the unvaccinated, wrote The Atlantic. The unvaccinated are responsible for the overwhelming majority of transmission. There are a lot of things out there that are harmful to public health right now. Anything out there that says vaccines are not good for you, that is false, said Dr. Laura Morris, who works in an area of Missouri that has seen a surge in COVID infections. She is calling out Williams. If this is the direction we take our country, there will come a time when the government or corporations mandate you to get something that does not align with your values. Power given is seldom returned. And when that day comes, I want you to at least know that we fought. First things first, you know who absolutely loved this from Williams? You're the Candace Owens of ESPN, is what? <laughs> I, I respect the hell out of Candace Owens. So do I. You guessed it. Troublesome anchor Sage Steele writing in short, you are amazing. So much love and respect. Let's go back for a moment, shall we? In September, Williams wrote in a statement, throughout our family planning with our doctor, as well as a fertility specialist, I've decided not to receive the COVID vaccine at this time while my husband and I try for a second child. Was she using this as an out for the highly politicized notion of personal freedom? Maybe. The CDC is recommended over and over again. It is safe for anyone trying to get pregnant or who may become pregnant here's the better question would you rather get covid while pregnant the findings you know the actual research say get the jab pregnant people with covid are at increased risk of preterm birth and might be at increased risk of other adverse pregnancy outcomes compared with pregnant women without covid dr paya patel an infectious diseases physician debunked williams's vaccine slash infertility claim nothing at all that links to this this is a complete myth at this point the professional organization cdc government doctors worldwide would recommend that children pregnant women especially if you're a pregnant woman should get vaccinated because in fact you're protecting a baby a child by getting it vaccinated rather than leaving it at risk 
for infection from COVID. Then there's this, Williams, who had reported for ESPN since 2011, acknowledged she's not the only one walking away from a career or a profession they love. Hundreds of hospital workers have quit rather than get vaccinated, but they represent only a tiny fraction of employees overall. For example, Duke Health in North Carolina reported it had fired just 20 people out of a workforce of 23,000. Lastly, Williams, who would have had gone to different cities and schools, some of which require vaccinations, well, the company had a quick response. Our focus is on a safe work environment for everyone.